Hey, welcome back. How's everybody doing today? Well, we're working on the Kawasaki 400 Prairie. This is a doing for a customer fixing it for him. So this time what he has problem with is that the fan is not turning on. So let's peel into here. Let's get into it. What it is, is what I'm thinking is that it is the, oops, this might be a little difficult here. Ooh, got it out. It ain't going back in that easy, that's for sure. What I'm thinking it is, it, oops, and generally this is the case. Okay, let's take all this off since uh, my light keeps dying on me. It needs to be charged up. Okay, there's these bolts. As you can see here, these screws. You just uh, let's take the whole thing out. All right, uh, charge that light. Give me a different light. Keeps dying on me. Okay, let's pull this out of here. You gotta kind of, you know, because I don't want to take it all the way off. Maybe I should. There we go. Pull the whole thing off. Let's throw it up on top. All right. Now, this is the culprit, the problem. Now, to determine that that's the problem, you take these two wires and you put them together. The fan comes on, then you know this is the issue. But you got to turn the key on first. Okay, turn the key on. Let's get something to throw these two out, and I'll show you how the fan will come on. Yeah, fan works. So it's not the fan issue. It's not a fuse or anything like that. This goes bad. And they do. They go bad, you know, that's the only the issue is that right there. So what we got to do is we got to pull this out of here. Now, when we unscrew this now, as you can imagine, what's going to happen? Well, of course, fluid's going to come out because it goes right into there. So get some... Let's see, first of all, but be careful. There it is. Okay, there it is. Turn. Because <laughs> you don't want to break it. Because you could break it off. It, it could be sensitive there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a pan. We're going to put a pan underneath here to catch the fluid so when it comes out. So, let's get that going. Got me this here. Is something I can put down there, grab it. Now what I want to do is move all my other stuff out of the way because it don't seem to go the travel. You know, you got so much for it to hit and hurt and go one way, go the other way. You don't get all your stuff all nasty. Really, by all rights, like I'm gonna find a old rag to put underneath there, maybe catch some more too. Let me get that all set up now. Come right back. Okay, see I put a rag within on there so it'll catch anything that sprays out as we pull this off here. So I'm going to try to switch out as fast as possible. Maybe it'll slow the leakage down. We're going to see here. Get two hands on this deal. As soon as that one comes out, this one's got to go in. There it is. There, we barely lost anything. That's a good way to do it right there. Oh, it's, okay, it's a little fluid, okay. 
Well, that's what it looks like inside. That's, that's bad. There's ways to test that, but no need in it. We know that's the issue, right? Because we already checked it. Everything else works except for that. Okay, you want to snug it up, but not too tight. Snug it up. That's it. Okay, then you put your wires back on here. Okay, make sure they slip on there good and hold. And that one there didn't want to do it that much. Sometimes these might need to be tightened up a little bit, closed in. Let's do it here. Okay. I'm going to run it through this way. There, that, oh, that bit on a lot better. And that one there. And then you slip this over the top of everything. Okay, come on, get on there. Push that through. And let me see. No, that ain't working. Come on. Come on. Yeah, a little pain there. Try to get the other side on first. Let's see what I need this. There we go. Use a mill no pliers to grab a hold of it and push it on there. There it is. There it is. All right. All right. That's how you change the temperature switch on a Kawasaki Prairie 400. And now what we do is we're going to... I might walk my hands here. And let's put the plastic back on. In case you took it off and then now you don't have to put it back on, right? Let's put it back on. Let's slide that, slide that up in there. This goes up in there. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Well, Screws over here. And you gotta be careful using a, like I do here with this impact, you gotta be careful that it don't cross thread it. So make sure it's going good and straight before you really give it, give it the goat, so to speak. This one. Okay, when I get there, I'm going to leave them a little loose because you want to make sure that's got room. There we go. That on there. And then we're going to try to get this one, which I thought was going to be a little kind of a pain. I suspect it.
Okay, what I'm going to do there is just finish it out with the screwdriver because that's the thing I'm going to. All right, there we go. We got her all done. So it ain't too hard to do. It didn't lose hardly any. Let's show you down there. See, we already lost anything. All right, everybody. Well, take care and have a good one. And thanks for watching. And, uh, hey, if you got to change out the thermostat, there it is. Take care. Subscribe. Comment. And have a good day, everybody. Get what you want.